So in the last uh, lectures we have discussed various types of uh, D2A converters. So the other type of uh, data converter is uh, unlocked digital converter. If you want to process the unlocked signal using digital signal processor, first uh, we have to convert this unlocked signal into digital signal because digital signal processors are having lot of advantages when compared with the unlocked signal processors. There are four types of uh, unlocked digital converters. So the first one is called the flash tape or parallel comparator type. And second one is called counter type. Third one is successive approximation type. And fourth one is dual slope or integrating type. Each one is having its own advantages and uh, disadvantages. So, I will discuss uh, the circuit diagram of uh, each of these uh, unlocked digital converters and their uh, relative merits and uh, demerits. The first uh, unlocked digital converter is uh, parallel comparator type A to D converter. This is the fastest uh, A to D converter among all the A to D converters. But the drawback of this one is uh, more complexity. So, at the end of this uh, discussion, we can see that the complexity of this A to D converter is more. So, in general here as the name implies, uh, the parallel comparator will be having comparators for n bit ADC. contains 2 raised to the power of n minus 1 comparators. Here I will uh, discuss about the 3 bit parallel comparator type uh, ADC. So, this uh, consists of uh, 7 comparators. This is one comparator. The positive terminal is connected to the analog signal which is to be converted into digital. And negative terminal is connected to the V reference. Similarly, for all the comparators, positive terminal is connected to the same V A. negative terminal will be connected to a part of a reference voltage which uh, we can obtain by using a resistor. Here all these VAs will be connected together. The 
this is the analog voltage which is to be converted into digital. Here Vr and between the two consecutive inverting terminals there will be resistors. This is R, 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 so this voltage will be Vr directly, what will be voltage here? Vr into the total resistors below this point is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and total resistors are 7. So, according to voltage divider Vr into 6R by 7R that is equal to 6 by 7 Vr. Similarly, here this voltage will be 5 by 7 Vr. this will be 4 by 7 Vr, this will be 3 by 7 Vr, this will be 2 by 7 Vr, this will be V by 7 Vr by 7. For the sake of uh, simplicity if I take uh, Vr is equal to 7 volt. then this will be 7 volts, this will be 6 volts, this will be 5 volts, this will be 4 volts, 3 volts, 2 volts, 1 volt. Then this output of these comparators will be applied to a priority encoder. So, we know that the encoder will be having 2 raise to the power of n inputs and n outputs. If I call this output as Y7, MSB, Y6, Y5, Y4, Y3, Y2, Y1, but if I want to use a 8 to 3 priority encoder, we require one more input. So, I will connect this y0 permanently to logic 1 and is plus 5 volts logic 1. This will produce 3 outputs a d2, d1, d0, d2 is msb and d0 is lsb. Now, the operation of this circuit is if this analog voltage V A is less than or equal to 1 volt, this 1 volt. So, what will be output of the comparator? This voltage is less than or equal to 1 volt. Here, the voltage is 1 volt. So, the voltage at negative terminal is greater than the voltage at positive terminal or if both the inputs are equal then also output is equal to 0. Then the output y1 becomes 0 and what happens to y2? This voltage is less than or equal to 1 volt whereas this voltage is 2 volts. So, y2 also will be 0. Y3 is 1 up to all Y7, all will be 0 because the comparator operation is something like this. And this is A, this is B. If A is greater than or equal to B, implies 
आउटपुट इफ निकाल एस वाई वाई इज इक्वल टू बिकॉज नेगेटिव टर्मिनल वोल्टेज इज ग्रेटर देन बी सो आउटपुट इज इक्वल टू जीरो इफ ए इज लेस देन बी आर बी इज ग्रेटर देन ए आउटपुट इज इक्वल टू लार्ज इक्वल सो अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट सो इफ आई टेक बिटवीन जीरो टू वन वोल्ट दिस वाई वन टू वाई सेवन ऑल विल बी जीरो इफ आई अप्लाई वी ए विच इज स्लाइटली मोर दैन वन वोल्ट देन वाट हैपन्स हियर दि वोल्टेज विल बी स्लाइटली मोर दैन वन वोल्ट देन दि आउटपुट बिकम्स वन सिमिलर इफ आई अप्लाई दि वोल्टेज हियर विच इज स्लाइटली मोर दैन टू वोल्ट दिस आउटपुट इज वन इफ दि वोल्टेज हियर इज स्लाइटली मोर दैन थ्री वोल्ट दिस आउटपुट इज वन इफ इट इज स्लाइटली मोर दैन फोर वोल्ट दिस आउटपुट इज इक्वल टू वन एंड सो ऑन सो इफ यू टैबुलेट दीज वैल्यूज दिस विल बी समथिंग लाइक दिस अनालॉग वोल्टेज विच इज इनपुट comparator output which is also input to encoder and output of priority encoder This is also will be the digital output. This is analog input, and this is corresponding digital output. This is VA, the analog voltage which is to be converted into digital. This is D two, D one, D not, the corresponding digital outputs with uh, D two as MSB. D not as L S B. In between we have Y seven, Y six, Y five, Y four, Y three, Y two, Y one, Y not. Y not is permanently connected to one. If V A is zero is less than V A is less than or equal to one volt. As we have seen here, if this voltage is less than or equal to one volt. This is also zero. This is also zero. All outputs Y one to Y seven is zero, except Y not. This is zero, 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 and this is permanently one. Now, if we take uh, the next range, one is less than V A is less than or equal to two volts. Now, V A is greater than one volt means the last comparator output will be one because this voltage is more than. This voltage, so output is logic one because positive terminal voltage is less than negative terminal voltage. So this will be zero 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 zero. This will be one. Whereas Y zero is already permanently one. Now if I take two is less than V A is less than or equal to three volts, then the last three inputs will be one and so on. All will be one. Now, what is the operation of this priority encoder? Here, if only one input to the priority encoder is one, then that particular input will be encoded. Now, before uh, encoding, we have to assign the priorities. I am assuming that this Y seven is having highest priority. Uh, 
and the next is y6, y5 and so on, y0 is having lowest priority. Now for the first uh, combination of the inputs, only one input is 1 which is the lowest priority uh, input. So, that y0 will be encoded in the sense we are going to write the 3 bit digital equivalent of this suffix 0, 3 bit equivalent is 0, 0, 0. Now, in the second combination 2 inputs are 1. So, between these two the input with uh, the larger priority will be encoded. Between y1, y0, y1 is having larger priority. So, this 1 if I take as decimal value the binary equivalent 3 bit binary equivalent of 1 is 0, 0, 1. So, in this case this is both are 1s. 3 inputs are 1. So, y2 will be encoded because among these 3 y2 is having largest priority. So, 2 binary equivalent will be 0, 1, 0. Now, here y3, 3 means 0, 1, 1. Here y4, 4 means 1, 0, 0. Next 5, next 6, next 7. This is how we can convert this voltage range into 0, 0, 0, this voltage range into 0, 0, 1, this voltage range into 0, 1, 0, so on. So, the given analog voltage is converted into corresponding digital output. The minimum input voltage that is required to change from one code word to another code word is slightly more than 1 volt. So, in fact, this is also similar to the resolution of DTA converter. Here also if VR or V full scale is the full scale voltage of uh, A to D converter for N bit A to D converter the resolution the minimum change in the input required to change one code word is equal to VFS by 2 raised to the power of N minus 1. So, this is the operation of parallel comparator or flash type uh, ADC. The advantage of this type of ADC is this is having less conversion time. The time taken to convert the analog signal to digital signal is very less. So, here if I use the high speed comparators and the priority encoders the comparator of the form of AMD company is 686A and if I use the priority encoder T1147 then the conversion time of this type of ADC is of the order of 20 nanoseconds which is very less. But the drawback of this type of ADC is the complexity is more. For every one increase in the bit, the number of comparators will be almost doubles. We can see that for a 3 bit ADC, the number of comparators are 7. For 4 bit ADC, the number of comparators will be 2 raised to the power of n minus 1 which is 15. this is almost double. Okay. So, this is the drawback. Drawback is complexity more. It has advantages high speed or low conversion time. So, in applications where speed is important, we will uh, prefer this uh, parallel comparator or flash type ADC. So, the second type of ADC is called as a counter type ADC. As the name implies, there will be a counter which counts the clock signals. So, 
so there is a counter say n bit counter this will give n outputs q0 q1 so on up to qn minus 1 so inside this counter there will be flip flaps output of the flip flap will be q0 to qn minus 1 so this is msb and this is lsb msb lsb so this will be applied to a d to a converter this will give some digital output say vd is the digital output correspond to this analog input correspond to vd is let vd is the analog output correspond to this digital input then this will be compared with the the analog signal which is to be converted here we are going to apply analog input va which is to be converted into digital so the corresponding digital output we are going to take here this comparator output is applied to the end gate whose other input is clock signal so we know that for the end gate if both the inputs are one then only output is one so if the output of the comparator is one then only this clock signal will be propagated to the output this is going to enable the clock of the counter and there will be some reset signal for this counter this is the block diagram of uh, counter type adc so the operation is if reset signal is applied the counter value is set to 0 that is qn minus 1 qn minus 2 so on up to q1 q0 will be all zeros upon the release of this reset signal counter starts counting the clock signals So this qn minus 1 to q0 becomes 1, 2, 3 up to 2 raised to the power of this n. Then this d to a converter converts qn minus 1 up to q0 to equivalent digit equivalent analog signal which is vd now we have to compare this vd with va using comparator which is compared with va as long as VA is greater than VD output of comparator will be 1 so this allows because this input is 1 so for end gate output will be simply this clock signals
So, this clock signals will be applied to the counter. Now, the counter will increment the count. So, like that. So, this process will repeat until V A is equal to V D. Once V A is equal to V D implies output of the comparator is 0, then stops the counter. So, at this time whatever the output of this counter is digital equivalent of analog signal. This is the operation of this counter type ADC. But the drawback of this one is because of this DAC and comparator, this is less accurate. And also takes more conversion time, less speed. Conversion time will be of the order of 4 milliseconds, which is much much greater than that of the flash type uh, ADC whose uh, conversion time is approximately 20 nanoseconds. So, because of these reasons, this counter type ADC is not uh, popular. So, the third type of uh, ADC is successive approximation type ADC. This is also similar to this counter type ADC. Here there will be a successive approximation register. SCR is successive approximation register. This will be having two signals. One is called start of conversion, another is end of conversion. So, this is n bit register. So, each register will be having one output, this also will give n outputs. Q n minus 1 is MSB, Q n minus 2, 1 up to Q 0. This will be applied to the D to A converter similar to the counter type ADC. This will produce analog voltage VD which is proportional to this digital. This is MSB, this is LSB, this is digital output. In here also this will be compared with the comparator. Here we are going to apply the analog signal which is to be converted into digital. is going to control the success approximation register. Here the operation is uh, whenever start of conversion signal is received by this SAR upon receiving start of conversion signal 
the SAR sets MSB bit to 1 and remaining all bits to 0. And if it is 4 bit uh, ADC, this will make 1 0 0 0. This is the initial value of this A to D converter, this uh, successor transmission register. The initial value is 1 0 0 0. Now, this value of SAR output is converted to VD using DAC. Now, this VD is proportional to this digital value of this SAR. Now, if VD is Here there are two cases V D can be greater than V A or V D can be less than V A. If V D is greater than V A, what happens is then this first MSB bit will be reset, next MSB bit will be set to 1. If otherwise means if V D is less than V A then the first MSB bit will keep 1, the second MSB bit also will becomes 1, remaining 2 will be 0. So, this process continues until VD is equal to VA. Once VD is equal to VA, this SAR, whatever the output of SAR will be the digital equivalent of the analog input. This Q n minus 1, so on up to Q naught represents digital equivalent of analog signal V. This is the operation. This will be better understand if I take uh, an example of 4 bit uh, ADC. So, the first value of 4 bit ADC is one zero zero zero. From this we have two options. If this VD correspond to this one VD, if this VD is greater than V A, then first MSB bit will be reset, next MSB bit will be set. If V D is less than V A, then first MSB bit was 1, we will set second MSB bit also, we will keep the first MSB bit 1 and we will set the second MSB bit also 1, 0, 0. Again here there are two options depends upon whether this uh, analog equivalent voltage V D is greater than or less than V A. What are the two options? This can be 0 0 1 0 or 0 1 1 0. Again there are two options here whether we have to keep this MSB bit or not depends upon V A is greater than or less than. So, 0 0 0 1 if V D is greater than V A, if V D is less than V A then this will be 0 0 1 1. Here also we have two options. What are these two options? 0 1 1 1 and 0 1 0 1. Whether we have to keep this bit or we have to reset this and we have to set the next bit depends upon V D is greater than or less than. Similarly, here also we will be having two options 1 0 1 0 1 1 1 0. Similarly, here also we have two options. This is 1 0 0 1 1 0 1 1. Here also we have two options 1 1 0 0 1 1 1 1. 
here also we have now two options one is we have to keep this or we have to reset this 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 here also we have to keep this 0 or 1 so this is 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 or 0 1 1 1 this is 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 1 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 1 this will be 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 1 this will be 1 1 0 0 or 1 1 0 1 this will be 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 1 total we have 16 combinations let us take uh, let V A is equal to um, 7 volts then what will be the path so initial value of this one is digital equivalent is 8 volts so compared to 7 volts this is greater so what we will do so we will uh, reset this we will go this is the path because this is greater than the analog voltage so we will reset the first bit and we will set the next bit now what is this uh, analog value 4 volts this is less than 7 volts so we will keep this bit as 1 and we will uh, set the next bit also means after that it will go here now this is 6 volts this is less than this so we will keep the third bit also and we will make the fourth bit also one so then after that this will go here so this will be the, the digital equivalent of this 6 volts like that you can take any analog voltage you can follow the flow to get the corresponding digital equivalent of this given analog signal this is how this 4 bit ADC will works so this ADC is having a conversion time of n into t where if t is the clock period n is the number of bits in the ADC so the speed is intermediate to this uh, flash type and counter type at the same time complexity also moderate because of that uh, this type of ADC will be mostly used in a microprocessor interfacing this ADC is available in a monolithic form in the form of IC we have AD0800 series so the last type of ADC is integrating type or dual slope type this is the more accurate uh, ADC compared with the all other ADCs so this is more accurate because of that this will be used in a digital multimeters so this basically consists of a buffer then followed by integrator then 
let's see switch one let's see switch two and apply to the comparator comparator output will be applied to the control logic this control logic is connected to the counter end of conversion this control logic controls the switch positions This is a typical block diagram of this one. This will act as a buffer used to provide high input impedance. This will be integrator. Then this is comparator. There is control logic counter. This is basically ripple counter. So the count will be 2 raised to the power of n because n bit counter. So the operation is initially before the start pulse is applied. We have the start here. We will close this SW2 switch. SW2 is closed and SW1 is connected to ground. Here we have three positions one is minus VR, one is VA, another is ground. This switch will be connected to this ground. You know, this is just two SW2 is closed. So the capacitor charges. So all the offset voltages of these three circuits will be appeared across capacitor. So this CAZ will basically use it to null the offset voltages. So once the start is received, SW2 is opened. So that CAZ will nullify the offset voltages. Whereas SW1 is connected to V, the analog voltage which is to be converted. So here this voltage also VA. Then the integrator integrates. VA for 2 raised to the power of n clock cycles. Got this counter after counting 2 raised to the power of n clock signal, this will reset. So, this VA will be integrated over the 2 raised to the power of n clock cycles. So, if I take this waveform, this integrator output. 
say at this point the start has been received so this is t1 then this will degrade here start is applied so within this duration the integrator integrates VA for how many clock cycle 2 raised to the power of n into t is the period if t is the clock period 2 raised to the power of n into t is the period between t1 to t2 so after this 2 raised to the power of n clock signals the uh, ripple counter will reset then we will apply this switch position to minus Vr. Now because these two are of opposite polarity this is plus and this is minus then the output of this integrator will be in the reverse direction. Now this will decrease in this fashion. Let us assume that this will come to the 0 for n clock signals. So after 2 raised to the power of n clock cycles the counter resets then the switch S1 is connected to minus Vr. So, it implies the output of the integrator decreases towards 0. So, if the output of the integrator is 0, you have to stop. End of conversion signal is generated. Now, we can show that this n over which the vr is uh, integrated till the output of the integrator is 0 this va is proportional to n we are going to show that this va is proportional to n how to show this so we know that the output of the integrator is equal to minus 1 by rc integral vi dt if I assume that this is V1, then V1 is equal to minus 1 by Rc. This V, this V will be at a different intervals, delta t. If I consider this delta t from t2 to t1, what will be this uh, V? V will be Va. So, V1 is equal to minus 1 by Rc Va t2 to t1 between this interval va is integrated between this integral minus vr is integrated so this is one expression again using the same because this v1 is common for both the va as well as minus vr this V1 will be minus 1 by Rc. This is Vr. This is decreasing. I am taking T3 to T2. I am writing the positive value. This is equation 2. Because this is also V1, this is also V1. You can equate these two. So, if you equate these two, what happens? 
minus 1 by rc minus 1 by rc will get cancelled plus you will get va into t2 minus t1 is equal to vr into t3 minus t2 what is t2 minus t1 to raise to the power of n into t and t3 minus t2 is nt so this implies va to 2 raise to the power of n into t is equal to vr into n into t so t t get cancelled so va is equal to vr by 2 raise to the power of n into n so 2 raise to the power of n is constant vr is constant so va is directly proportional to n so whatever this count over which this uh, vr is integrated that is proportional to the given analog voltage you see the operation of this uh, integrating type adc so this is more accurate and this will be used in digital uh, multimeters so these are all about the four types of the adcs next lecture we'll discuss about the digital ic's such as uh, cmos circuits thank you Thank you.